He who wants to become wise will profit greatly from at some time having harbored the idea that mankind is fundamentally evil and corrupt. It is a false idea, as is its opposite, but it enjoyed dominance throughout whole ages of history, and its roots have branched out even into us ourselves and our world. To understand ourselves, we must understand it. But if we are then ourselves to rise higher, we must rise up above it. We then come to recognize that there is no such thing as sin in the metaphysical sense, but in the same sense no such thing as virtue either. That this whole domain of moral ideas is in a state of constant fluctuation, that there exist higher and deeper conceptions of good and evil, of moral and immoral. He who desires little more of things than knowledge of them easily finds repose of soul, and if he blunders, or, as the world puts it, sins, it will at most be through ignorance, but hardly out of covetousness. He will no longer want to decry the desires as heretical and to exterminate them, but the only goal which completely dominates him, at all times to know as fully as possible, will make him cool and soothe everything savage in his disposition. Moreover, he will have got free of a host of tormenting ideas. The expressions pains of hell, sinfulness, incapacity for good, will no longer have any effect on him. He will recognize in them only the hovering phantoms of false ways of viewing life and the world.